Welcome back to U-Tips for You. Um, today we're going to talk about highlighting hair. I do it myself. I'm someone who used to have it done at a salon many years ago and I was never happy with it. I don't know if any of you out there have come across this kind of a problem, but I, I have, you can see, I don't know if you can see with the video, but my hair is like a dirty blonde, a very, very, you know, light, uh, 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 like a very light brown blonde. And it gets, in the summer, it gets blonde in the front and throughout with streaks of blonde. And I like that look. So I try to keep that look throughout the year if I can by adding some little streaked highlights in by myself. And I used to, like I said, I used to go to a salon, but unfortunately they put too much in or they weave it so that you get eventually just a whole head of blonde hair and it's very damaging and as you know we're trying to grow long healthy hair with no breakage very little damage and one of the ways we can do that is by highlighting it ourselves and you may think this is a very difficult thing to do but if you've ever seen a hairdresser do it and you really watch the technique. You can mimic it and it's not hard if you take your time and eventually you get better and better at it. Now I'm not a hairdresser. This is just something that I learned on my own and each time I do it I get better and better. If I do it and I see that it needs a little extra color or it didn't come up enough, I'll put the little foil back on again and I'll let it sit and then it'll be ready in, you know, in no time at all. So I'm going to walk you through what I buy um, and show you how I do it and hopefully it'll work for you too. So, um, I buy my products at Sally Beauty Supply and there's hopefully one near you. You can Google it, Sally Beauty Supply. There's a sallybeauty.com and they'll tell you where there's a store. And I buy highlighting foils and they're very inexpensive. I think this, this right here cost me three or four dollars, not even. Um, I buy Kaleida Colors by Clairol. This is a blue azul and it lightens up to the, the lightest blonde, the coolest level. And I like this one best for me um, because I like the, the really light blonde color in my hair, but I don't like it white. I, I'm not looking for that white dark look. I want it to look natural and I want to place them where I want to. And here, look, this whole pack, this little pack here was $3.29. Now, I don't use a whole pack at once, which is what it rec you know is the directions that they recommend on there. I take little measuring spoons, and I take out the ho however much product that I want to use to put in a few highlights for my hair. So today for the demonstration, I'm just going to put just a few to show you how to do it in my hair, and I've only grabbed my little eighth of a teaspoon and my little quarter of a teaspoon because um, I don't want to mix up too much. You'll need one of these brushes, and this is how you're going to apply the product onto your hair on the foil. So as you can see, it's just a flat brush, okay? You need something to mix your product in, and I just have this old little plastic thing. You can use a small bowl, uh, anything that you don't mind getting, you know, bleach and peroxide in will work fine for you. And then you'll need one of these combs, and these are very helpful, and you have to have one, because the back end is a metal long tip, and that you can use for easily sectioning your hair, because if you want little fine highlights going throughout just to catch the sun, you know, you'll want to just grab a few pieces of your hair, and you'll weave it, and what you'll be left with is a few strands, and it also has a fine tooth for combing out. So you'll also want that, and I have already an opened um, package of foils that I'm going to use. Now, when uh, I use a foil, the only time I use one, and this is the part that the product goes on, the shiny side. The colored side, you don't want to put product on because that will get on your hair and ruin your hair color. So, here's what you'll do. You will put the comb, and as you can see, I put it on the other side of the foil, the part that doesn't touch your hair, okay? And now you're holding this in your hand. You're going to grab a piece of hair and you're going to put it there and that's when you're going to put the product on it. Now I wanted to tell you that the only time I use one complete foil is when I do 
an entire strand all the way down. If I'm just doing little touch-ups at the roots that have grown down, then I will break this foil in half, as you can see. This saves you money, and it's much easier to work with. And now you're working with a small piece. And you do the same thing. You put it around your little metal tip comb, and then you're going to put it to the hair, and then you're going to paint on the product, put the hair aside, and then you're going to twist it up. We're going to do that, so you'll, have, you'll see exactly how to do it. So first what you'll do is you'll make a bunch of these little half foils so that it's easy for you, and they're separated by a piece of paper, so they're easy for you to grab you know, when you're working with the product. Okay? And once you've got your things all ready, I also wanted to point out that you'll be mixing, this is the bleach, you'll be mixing it with a volumizer, which is really like a peroxide, it's a developer. And they come in three lifts. They come in a 30 lift, well they come in a 20, which I don't have here for you to see because I don't use that, but they come in a 20 lift, which gives you not that much of a lift if your hair is already really blonde, it won't, it won't take it, 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 it won't take it all the way to the point where it's straw, you know what I mean? So if you're really blonde, you want a 20 lift. Me, for my hair color, I find what works best is 30 and 40. 40 is the maximum lift. It's called maximum lift. 30 is called extra lift. I have found that if I mix the two, I get the best color combination for me. And you'll always use twice the developer um, equal to the powder. So if you take one teaspoon of the powder, you'll have two teaspoons of the developer. And you'll pick either one or you can mix them like I do. Uh, so that, you know, I don't want to use just 40 because I'm afraid it might be too much lift. I don't want that too white blonde. And the 30 is sometimes not enough. I still have a little bit of that yellowish tinge. It doesn't come all the way up, so I mix them. Okay, so now you have all your products. You have your developer, which is mixed with your bleach. You have your little cup, you have your little brush, you have your comb to do your highlights, and you have your foils. And of course, you have your little measuring spoons. Okay, now you should be all ready to go. And in the next segment, you'll see we're going to start applying the product. Okay.